Basically, what I was saying was, I do wonder if there's something brewing underneath the surface with Drake, whether it is a lawsuit, an allegation, something private that he doesn't want becoming public, and I'm not necessarily accusing him of allegedly buying these bots against Pusha T, because the Pusha T beef has been, you know, for years now. It's not like a brand new thing. The two don't have to be related. I do think it's interesting that that's happening with Pusha T and I'm interested to see what happens as his chart is getting very electrocuted with this new moon in Leo on August 16th. So is Chris Brown. So is Drake. With Drake in particular, he is having a transit that Lizzo just had with a shock and a destabilization and a you know, something, you know, coming totally out of left field in regards to his reputation and his public image. I'm very curious as to what that's going to be, whether it's something minor kind of creeping in the corner or whether it's something that's going to be a big bang in our face. And again, we might not hear the last of it right now. I would also say for Lizzo as well, it's something that is probably going to circle back around and become relevant again spring of next year. I would say probably the middle of May. And with all that being said, I just do think it's interesting that what is it now? Lizzo, Chris Brown, Drake, and Pusha T are all Leo Risings with a 22 or 23 degree prominent like Taurus placement. And that they're all, the reason I keep mentioning is that is because that's where Uranus is hanging out right now. And he's going to retrograde over it. And Uranus likes to shock. It's like tornado energy. It's also like winning the lottery energy. With Chris Brown, it looks um, financial or having to do with women in relationships or even his aesthetics. With Drake, it looks like it's more so his career and reputation. With Lizzo, it was her career and reputation and things regarding work and employees. And then with Pusha T, it's hitting um, his son, which is his identity. It's also his authority, his... Uh, reputation more so in the sense of like how he is recognized as a public figure but because it's in a t-square to both his ascendant and descent in it's like who he's involved with relationships and who he is as a person his identity and what he looks like so to have uranus and a new moon really hitting on those degrees it's it's gonna spark it up especially because leo retrograde is going to be in conjunct to that and that is really adding some confusion into the mix or not confusion but like one foot in, one foot out, values being kind of scrambled around. In general, the Leo New Moon looks quite dramatic in terms of celebrities, public figures, fame, performance, entertainment industry. Probably going to see more about everybody striking, about um, anything that has to do with like co co stars and stuff like that, having like scandals, more divorces, more marriages. I would say in the most sinister way, we might see things of like sexual allegations around children and that being prominent as well. And also that's not to say that the Pusha T bots are not like telling the truth because they, they're accusing him of some pretty heavy things. Um, but my point is that somebody's buying them. So that does make me kind of question the authenticity of it all because there's clearly a motive behind the smear campaign um but we've seen like the kardashians do this we've seen big celebrities use bots oftentimes to uh, you know spin a narrative to go in a fixed direction because most people who are dumb and don't have critical thinking and do not look into the legitimacy of things will see what looks like a normal account saying push it he did this push it he did that and then be like oh my god push it he did this push it he did that I am trying to think of other celebrities to keep an eye out. I would say it's Selena Gomez because she's a Leo rising and she has a Leo stellium, so she has a lot of planets there. The new moon happening on August 16th for her can be a... I think she has Mercury, Venus there. There could just be a new look, like, but I literally think she's like going undergoing a rebrand right now. Nothing major or crazy, but like I do think she's kind of being rehabilitated image-wise to... Be more of like a fashion girly or a style girly she might have new music out soon i think i predicted like a while ago that i thought she was gonna write a book for some reason or maybe do something in regards to writing and like publishing or something like that or new music um demi lovato i want to say i don't know if she's a leo rising i know she's a leo's son i believe um yeah i'm interested to see what's going to go on with that basically with the Drake stuff, I'm just curious to see if w what we'll see is like a coming up full circle of him essentially trying to be ahead of a rumor. Like to me, it looks like he is doing image rehabilitation in regards to being a father and being likable. He never does podcasts except the one that he is in control of with Lil Yachty. So I thought it was interesting that he did it with Bobby to begin with. Um, 
but that was obviously like a moment for him to become more likable venus retrograde in his first house can be kind of people who maybe used to not like him liking him or people who do like him now starting to be like i don't know if i'm a fan with him of him knowing these things so it's going to be interesting to see how the public sways um the shock factor the destabilization to his finances relationships um, public image reputation i personally think that if there is a hit that comes up within the next few weeks of oh drake did this drake's a bad guy because of this this is something awful he did that was a secret or hidden behind closed doors he will now have material to kind of support but i'm a good father but i'm funny but i'm likable and he also liked Tory Lane's uh, like family's update on him obviously being guilty and having to go to jail and I have a lot to say about him and Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea is another person to look out for for this. Iggy Azalea has Uranus on her natal Mercury. She's gonna say some wild shit. She already has but it can become more stabilized. It can become more out of pocket. It can become more shocking i know that she used um her defending tori lane's shooting megan in the foot and defending him and writing a letter to lessen his sentence as a opportunity to promote her upcoming music i'm gonna keep my mouth shut on that however um maybe the music itself will be shocking i don't know i actually have a lot to say about Ig iggy azalea and drake defending tori lane's let me know if you want me to share my two cents on that because that's a real, that's like a real issue that people need to like account into their real lives in the way that they organize their value system. I'm getting heated thinking about it. And that's a perfect example of learning from a celebrity because they're both bird brains. But yeah, the Leo New Moon is a little dramatic. It's a little exciting though. It's really great for like creative endeavors and people putting themselves out there. Maybe a little bit harsher for relationships that are nearing a breakup and... <laughs> people doing the most for attention putting themselves out there in a way that is a little like too look at me look at me that it falls flat or something like that i also think glenn and anna paul anna paul getting i almost said divorce breaking up is like a good example of what this leo new moon entails it's a lot having to do with the matters of the heart and being in the public eye and attention and your inner child needs and things regarding love romance finances and how everybody can see all of that about us so i'm interested to see how it goes